new bill introduced by Wisconsin Republicans would ban transgendered athletes from competing in girls sports. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Byatmore talks to the bill's author and has reaction from transgendered advocates who say the solution is already in place. When the snow melts away, more boundaries will be visible on Wisconsin courts and fields. Critics of the bills introduced Tuesday, including Ginger Beyer from Madison-based Outreach, say barring transgender girls from playing girls sports crosses the line. To deny a transgender student um, and single that person out uh, because of who they are is, I think, very appalling. The bill's author in the assembly, Barbara Dietrich from Oconomowoc, says the bill is not exclusionary to trans athletes because they would still be able to participate in co-ed leagues. There's male, female, and then there's mixed sports. So it's not that there wouldn't be a place for trans youth. LGBTQ advocates protest outside the Capitol, including Megan McDonnell from Fair Wisconsin. She says there's already an answer to conservatives' concerns. The WIAA policies already make it almost impossible for trans girls to participate in school sports. WIAA rules say a male to female student must have one year of testosterone suppression therapy to become eligible to participate on a female team. For Dietrich and the bill's supporters, there's still too much risk of someone born male taking away spots on teams and in record books. The problem is the biological male taking that title or record away from a biological female. With a Democratic governor, however, the effort is a long shot. In a tweet, Governor Evers says his message to transgendered kids in Wisconsin is that he sees them and that they are welcome, wanted, and belong.